Hey, what's up guys, this is Ashenox. Let me talk about the patch notes in a minute here, but first I want to talk about uh, some news about ML Tiaria. Free Spirit Tiaria, she's a free hero, of course, in the game you get her at the start. And uh, to skill her up right now, you do need Molagoras. But there was a news that was released on the YouTube channel of uh, the official Epic 7 YouTube channel, uh, the Q Korean one, right? So they're saying that there's gonna be a live stream. And in this live stream, they're gonna talk about how it's gonna go down. I'm thinking that instead of Molagoras, uh, so if you did spend Molagora in MLT area, Free Spirits area, you're gonna be getting these uh, Mola back. So that's really nice, especially since I plus 15 her on my first account on Global. And uh, I think it might be like a bunch of missions in the adventurous path where after completing them, you will be getting some special, uh, you know, Molagor just for MLT area. Or it could be like three star heroes, like, uh, you know, rare catalysts, or maybe epic catalysts required, uh, you know, with stigmas to skill her up, something like that. I hope it's like missions so we don't have to actually grind some catalysts, especially for newer players. It's nicer to just follow the adventurer's path and it's just way simpler and nicer and maybe they can, they can learn a few things about the game in the same, uh, at the same time. So let's move on to the patch notes now. So for MLT area, that stream, there will be a stream in one week time from now and I will do the summary you know, in my usual uh, patch note uh, slash stream summary video. So, I mean, stay tuned for that, guys. So for the patch here, let's go through it real quick. We got the side story of uh, Chloe. So uh, that's good. And uh, she's gonna she's getting a drop rate up, of course. So get your uh, Mola Gora and get your, uh, you know, catalysts. Always uh, great to get them from the side story instead of having to grind them in uh, Adventure, you know, on recorded history, uh, grinding the AP exchange shops. So it's pretty good value getting them from there. And uh, she has an artifact now. This is brand new in the game. Two new artifacts, one for Chloe, one for Kron. And this one, to be honest, I don't feel like it's worth it, but there are some situations where you can get quite a bit of damage out of this thing. Let's say you're in PvP, you're going and you're fighting a team that has barrier, like Fallen Cecilia is part of the team, right? So you're gonna be dealing 32% uh, percent more damage, uh, which is pretty insane. If you guys know about uh, Ice Kise, her skill one deals 70% percent more damage when the target has a buff. It used to work only against targets that have a barrier to get the damage boost, but now it affects targets with a buff. I did showcase Kise, she's insane. Uh, go check it out if you still have it. She's very, very good. I'm enjoying playing with her. But okay, so this artifact is a very specific situation. Um, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, you don't use this in Wyvern. Uh, in Wyvern, you use Daydream Joker. That's how you destroy the boss. Uh, multiple damage dealers with Daydream Joker. High crit damage. Defense break applied on the, on the boss. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just easy peasy, easy mode. Uh, so it only works on single target attacks, by the way, guys. And uh, if you have it at plus 15, just one copy, it's going to be between 16 and 32%. So 24% more damage uh, when the target has barrier. So next new artifact is Shepherd of the Hollow. Now, this one, though, is really good. And this is going to be, uh, of course, the artifact paired with uh, K-Ron, which I will be pulling for on my account number one, unless I somehow manage to pull K-Ron from the five-star ticket uh, from episode one. I, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Fingers crossed if it does, but I have four accounts. I'm gonna be uh, summoning all four, so I'll do a video after this one, but then, uh, probably. So this one though, man the value. Evasion increase up to 20%. So it's gonna be 15% at plus 15, 20% at uh, plus 30, and damage dealt increased by 20% if the caster's health is below 25% when attacking. Yo, this is insane. This is a Moonlight Dream Blade with a passive attack increase when, of course, his health has to be lower than, well, 25% uh, or less to get this activated. But it does stack with attack buff, greater attack buff, so you can do a ton of damage. And uh, if you don't have an 
a hero that went before Kron you know softening the enemy so you can trigger your your Eliha's knife which is the artifact that uh, most Kron do wear then I mean you you do get you do get uh, survivability increase because of the evasion plus the damage increase very powerful artifact it is not limited I don't recommend that you guys go chase artifacts you might just uh, stumble upon it later down the line but this is not limited even limited artifacts it's hard to say like just go for it you know it's totally worth it the only one that is truly worth it in all of the game is Rengar special drink you get one copy you don't even need to chase more and then you use bottle of knowledge from the pot of knowledge shop and you just continue limit break it so you can have it to uh, plus 30 uh, later down the line so Chloe and a little Queen's uh, huge crown drop right up. I would say that Chloe is, like she's good for Wyvern, right? But Sigrid is way better. Uh, it's just the debuff that Sigrid brings, the, the pure damage. Uh, you can check my showcase of uh, Sigrid in uh, Wyvern. I, I use her on my uh, third account and on my fourth account and she's completely insane. If you wanna see free to play teams, you can check them out. I have them as well, you know, uh, so. You don't need five-star heroes to do Wyvern. Absolutely not. Kron, on the other hand, he's not limited. Uh, Chloe's not limited as well. But Kron is is a beast, though. Kron, if you uh, if you're into PvP, you know about Kron. Kron is uh, showing up in a lot of Guild War defenses. You can easily use him for offense, ar arena, Guild War, uh, world arena. You can bait Ice to attack him. He gets invincibility. He he's just really annoying to deal with so i would say that yes you you could you could definitely pull for Kron if you don't have him and you really want him go for it if you have enough covenant bookmarks saved up for uh, a limited hero that might show up in uh, you know and in, in not too long i we never know with with epic seven i mean they might go with double limited or something like that but uh, you know there's gonna be reruns of all the limited heroes in the past so if you are missing some of them then save if you already have all the previous ones then maybe you could you know you could try maybe you get lucky and you pull him early let us know in the comment section if you're gonna be pulling for Kron or Chloe or maybe you're chasing artifacts which you probably shouldn't but I don't know it's you guys decide right you guys decide so i'll definitely be pulling uh for for Kiron, unless i manage to pull him from the five star ticket other improvements and bug fixes so mola gora pack i don't know uh what's up with the mola gora packs to be honest uh i'm a free to play player across my four accounts that's just how i, I play the game that's how I, I just want to show you guys i want to be true to you guys and like tell you like is this game free to play friendly and so far it's definitely been free to play friendly but here this is limited uh, so i guess it doesn't happen every month uh but you can buy the pack one twice and the pack two only one time per month and man that's a lot of mola gore like you can skill up uh, a hero like but it's limited i don't even know let us know in the comment section does this thing happen every month or it's limited meaning do they say it's limited because only uh, two that you can buy from pack one and one uh, for pack two every month or is that just like some special event but yeah i mean you can uh plus uh plus 15 a hero quite easily with uh with these packs man okay well i mean it's pretty expensive it must be pretty expensive uh bold promotion gold refund so there was actually a bug where i i saw that on reddit it's uh it's something like the cost was was doubled of the like it's saying that it's gonna cost something right to promote your heroes but the actual cost was like double or maybe 50 percent more than it should be so i mean they're gonna refund so who cares uh you're just gonna be getting some gold if you've been uh if you've been using the bulk promotion system so let us know in the comment section uh are you hyped about anything in these uh, patch notes um maybe you already have these heroes uh, to be honest like like i said Kron, yes you could go for him you, you know you can pity 605 covenant bookmarks you know you will get him for sure guaranteed but don't chase for artifacts even though this looks pretty solid you can just use Elias knife you can use uh Porch of the saviors you can use uh alexa's basket you can like use moonlight dreamblade there's a lot of different options and Kron, remember that uh briar witch Isaria counters counters him pretty heavily uh i mean unless unless he's tanky then uh she's not gonna be able to uh you know double tap him because if she attacks him right and she applies unable to be buff debuff and removes his she removes his buffs first right so if she if he has immunity set that's that gets stripped and then 
she applies unable to be buff debuff that is if it doesn't get resisted there's the innate 15 percent resist that can always mess you up and then you have to do all these things in order though like you you strip him you apply the unable to be buff debuff you deal damage and then you have to bring him to one hp that's the only way to really do it uh, in one shot and then there's the uh, additional damage uh, from her passive or ring or special drink or both but he needs to drop to one hp to trigger the uh, the immortality which will be blocked by unable to be buff debuff and then you finish him with the extra damage that's how you do it but what if he's tanky then you you don't have enough damage maybe there's multiple layers of protection there's barrier there's aureus uh there's uh, uh, adam and shield uh, maybe there's defense buff already on him. If you put all these layers of protection, you might not be able to pull it off. And then there's the 15% innate resist that you have to worry about the strip if he's on immunity. And then uh, you have to one-shot him, drop him to 1 HP, and then the extra damage has to, will pop him, though. That, that's guaranteed if he doesn't have immunity, if the enable to be buff, uh, debuff is applied. So it's really rough, and you can get messed up good if like you're going in there and it's like you're relying on that and you get resisted for the strip I mean, or the damage not high enough because he's more tanky or something like that but yeah let us know let us know what you think in the comment section so i'll be pulling for him and let me just check if there's any other news because i i want to check how many mola gora that i actually have left uh it's it's probably not that many because i mean i've been showcasing heroes uh, my last, uh, the last hero that I worked toward was Briar Witch Cesaria. Actually, it was Fawn Cecilia after herself. 16, I have the uh, auto Automaton Tower. And I guess it's going to be a new week in a few days. Maybe I get lucky in the raid. I guess I, I, I might be able to max out skill 3. I max it out for sure for Kron, but skill 1 is not going to be maxed out. The passive, I can just wait for it. So that's how I would skill up Kron. Um... Yeah, max three, uh, put as many as you can in one, and two can just wait for later on. But you don't even need to, you know, skill up uh, the passive to lower the cooldown for the invincibility to trigger. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. So you can press, uh, you know, on my playlist on the screen, or you can press uh, on the I at the top right of the screen. Check the pinned comment or the description of the video. Uh, I have a lot of uh, videos that I... Uh, I have there like about uh, you know guides and stuff like that uh, you can check uh, pvp showcases pv showcase of new heroes which i cover i have four accounts so i can you know do it with all the mola gore i have across four accounts and the currency but anyways that's gonna be it for this one i'm astronauts good luck with all you do peace out for now